The Nodosaurus, a 110 million year old armored dinosaur, is often called a prehistoric tank, and for good reason. Measuring 18 feet long and weighing nearly 3,000 pounds, this incredible creature was discovered in such an extraordinary state of preservation that it still looks almost lifelike. But how did this ancient giant remain so perfectly intact? Let's uncover the fascinating story behind one of the most remarkable dinosaur fossils ever found, the unexpected discovery of Nodosaurus. The unexpected discovery of Nodosaurus. The story of prehistoric preservation begins with an unexpected discovery in 2011 that revolutionized our understanding of dinosaur fossils. Sean Funk, operating heavy machinery at the Millennium Mine in northern Alberta, noticed an unusual rock that stood out from the surrounding industrial mining landscape. This wasn't just any fossil, it was a Nodosaurus, a 110 million year old armored dinosaur preserved in stunning detail marking one of the most significant paleontological discoveries of the century. The specimen measured 18 feet from nose to tail, weighing approximately 3,000 pounds. And unlike most fossils that are flattened by time and pressure, this one maintained its three-dimensional form in an unprecedented state of preservation. The discovery process took several weeks of careful excavation, with paleontologists meticulously removing layers of surrounding rock to reveal the specimen's remarkable features. The preservation was so exceptional that scientists could identify its coloring, a dark reddish-brown upper body fading to lighter shades below, thanks to surviving pigmentation in the fossilized skin. This level of preservation provided scientists with an unprecedented opportunity to study not just the creature's anatomy, but also its appearance and potential behavior patterns in its ancient environment. The science behind Nodosaurus preservation the remarkable preservation of this Nodosaurus reveals an intricate story of ancient processes that occurred over millions of years. Scientists believe the dinosaur entered a river, possibly during a flood or while escaping predators, initiating a complex sequence of events that would lead to its exceptional preservation. Its body drifted for about a week before sinking to the seafloor, where the impact stirred up sediment that created a protective cocoon shielding it from the typical deterioration that affects most organic matter. The precise environmental conditions at the time played a crucial role. The depth of the water, its chemical composition, and the lack of oxygen all contributed to this remarkable preservation. Over millions of years, minerals seeped into every pore and crevice through a process called permineralization, preserving not just the bones, but also the armor plates, scales, and even internal organs in extraordinary detail. The sediment layers that accumulated above the specimen provided the perfect amount of pressure to maintain the three-dimensional structure without crushing it. This delicate balance of conditions created what scientists consider a perfect preservation environment, something rarely seen in paleontology. This specimen now resides at the Royal Tyrrell Museum in Canada, providing an unprecedented window into the Cretaceous period and revolutionizing our understanding of how exceptional fossils can form the most complete T-Rex. The summer of 1990 marked another surprising moment in paleontological history when Sue Hendrickson encountered scattered bone fragments in South Dakota that would lead to an extraordinary discovery. These fragments led to Sue, the most complete Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton ever found, revolutionizing our understanding of these apex predators. The skeleton's completeness, 73% of the original bones including 250 of the 360 known T-Rex bones, made it an invaluable scientific resource that continues to provide insights decades after its discovery. The excavation process itself was a remarkable feat of scientific precision, taking over 17 months to carefully remove and document each element of the skeleton. Seven years after its discovery, Sue sold for a record-breaking $8.3 million at auction sparking intense debates about the commercialization of important scientific specimens. The massive price tag, however, ensured that Sue would find a permanent home at Chicago's Field Museum, where a team of specialized scientists and conservators work to maintain and study the specimen. The skeleton's exceptional preservation has allowed researchers to identify previously unknown aspects of T-Rex anatomy, including evidence of healed injuries that provide insights into the creature's lifestyle and behaviors. Beyond its scientific value, Sue has become an ambassador for paleontology, inspiring millions of museum visitors to engage with prehistoric science. Blue Babe, 
The prehistoric feast, the preservation of ancient life, extends beyond dinosaurs, as demonstrated by the remarkable discovery in Alaska that changed our understanding of Ice Age preservation. In 1979, a 50,000-year-old bison, nicknamed Blue Babe, emerged from the permafrost, its muscle tissue and fat so well preserved that it appeared almost fresh upon discovery. The specimen's remarkable state of preservation included intact skin, muscle fibers, and even blood vessels, providing unprecedented insights into Ice Age mammals. What made this discovery particularly unique was paleontologist Dale Guthrie's unconventional decision to conduct an extraordinary culinary experiment. In 1984, Guthrie prepared a stew using the ancient bison's neck meat, creating perhaps the oldest cooked meal in human history. The meat preserved by the constant freezing temperatures of the permafrost showed minimal signs of decomposition due to the anaerobic conditions and low temperatures that had maintained its integrity for millennia. The resulting dish produced an edible meal that participants described as tasting remarkably like ordinary beef stew with subtle undertones of earth and mushrooms. This remarkable experiment not only demonstrated the effectiveness of natural freezing as a preservation method, but also provided valuable insights into the chemical and biological processes that allow organic matter to remain stable over vast periods. The success of this unusual experiment sparked new discussions about the potential of studying ancient organic materials and their preservation mechanisms. Ancient preservation techniques. Our ancestors developed unique preservation methods of their own. Hunter-gatherers 11,000 years ago discovered that submerging mammoth meat in cold ponds created natural refrigeration. The combination of frigid water, low oxygen levels, and specific bacteria slowed decomposition, allowing meat to remain eatable from autumn through winter. Scientists have validated this method through experiments with modern meat samples, demonstrating the effectiveness of these ancient preservation techniques. Dakota, the mysterious mummy, Dakota, a dinosaur mummy found in North Dakota, changed how scientists understand fossilization. Found in a humid area, Dakota's skin stayed remarkably well-preserved, showing scales and patterns never seen before in similar fossils. Scientists once believed fossils couldn't stay intact in wet environments, but Dakota proved otherwise. Tiny scavengers played a key role by creating holes in the carcass, letting fluids drain and the skin dry before it could rot. Larger predators also helped by eating muscles and organs, but leaving the skin untouched. This unique combination preserved the skin's incredible details. Dakota gave scientists new insights into dinosaurs and revealed surprising ways fossils can form. Yucca, the frozen mammoth. In 2010, scientists found a woolly mammoth named Yucca on the icy shores of the Laptov Sea. Yucca, about 35,000 to 39,000 years old, was so well preserved, it looked like it had only recently frozen. What made this discovery amazing was the presence of liquid blood in its tissues, which challenged what scientists thought about how long blood and other materials could last. Yucca's body was so well preserved that scientists could study not only its outer features, but also its organs and cells in great detail. This discovery led to new plans to combine mammoth DNA with Asian elephant DNA to create hybrids that could survive in cold environments. These hybrids might also help protect the Arctic by grazing on grasslands, slowing permafrost melting and reducing the effects of climate change. Yuka also gave scientists clues about how mammoths lived, adapted to harsh conditions and interacted with predators and their environment. Amber, nature's time capsule. The preservation of ancient life also appears in amber, nature's time capsule. Tree resin has preserved insects, small animals, and plant matter in extraordinary detail for millions of years. The process requires precise conditions. Resin must reach the ground, avoid destruction, and undergo proper burial and pressurization to become amber. These golden preserves provide unprecedented details about ancient life, from the structure of insect wings to the coloration of prehistoric feathers ancient waters and modern science. Scientists continue to make fascinating discoveries about ancient preservation. In 2013, researchers found a pocket of water 1.5 miles beneath Canada's surface, dating back 2.6 billion years. Unlike drinkable glacier water often used by field researchers, this ancient water proved incredibly salty and mineral rich, 
offering insights into Earth's early chemistry. The water turns rusty orange when exposed to air due to its high iron content, demonstrating how environmental conditions can preserve chemical compositions for billions of years. The future of de-extinction. Scientists are making big advancements in bringing back extinct species using genetics and biotechnology. The Woolly Mammoth De-Extinction Project is one example where researchers are combining ancient DNA with modern elephant genes to create cold-resistant hybrids. Similar efforts are underway for animals like the Tasmanian wolf, which disappeared in 1936 and exists now only through preserved specimens, meat and genetic material in museums. While scientists can recreate the physical appearance of these animals, it's much harder to bring back their instincts, behaviors, and sounds since these were never fully recorded. These efforts go beyond science labs, raising questions about how these animals would fit into today's ecosystems and whether it's right to bring them back. New tools like CRISPR gene editing are making these projects more possible, and success could help with conservation and prevent more species from going extinct. As technology advances and new discoveries emerge, our understanding of natural preservation continues to evolve. Each finding provides new insights into Earth's history and the complex processes that have preserved ancient life through the ages. These discoveries not only illuminate the past, but also offer potential solutions for future challenges, from environmental conservation to biotechnology.